Right now, Alaska is changing. Today was, an, was the beginning of the dynamics of the ecosystem coming back alive in spring. A resurrection appropriate as we headed into the bay of the same name. As we come upon the wildlife, we'll ask that you folks outside, please limit your movements, be as quiet as possible uh, on most of the marine mammals. After we've had a chance to view them, then I'll tell you a little bit about their extraordinary lives. 16 years behind the wheel and the mic, our guide captain Chris Overbeck is a wealth of knowledge. I think he's cute. <laughs> Sorry, Chris, she's talking about that sea otter. This relatively familiar face catches our attention first. It's a true testament to this animal's hardiness, their resiliency, and, well, sheer promiscuity that in just 200 years, they have gone from the verge of extinction to virtually repopulating their entire historic range, although not yet in their historic numbers. Ahead, eagles lay in wait up above, while dolls porpoise playfully zigzag below, surfacing with a splash. But I'm told it's the whales you bring the big lens for. There's so much responsibility put on your shoulders to get these shots. You know what I mean? Here, patience is a virtue. And a big part of whale watching is called whale waiting. Lucky for us, we don't have to wait long. There's the spout. And the wave goodbye check North Pacific humpback off the list and mountain goat, glaucous wing gulls, black legged kittiwakes and oh my, just up ahead, left hand side. Stellar sea lions lounging lazily on the rocks. In the evenings, however, they are fierce predators of the sea hunting salmon, pollock and cod. Then a surprise, something Captain Chris says you don't often see in the bay. Oh, they're coming right over this way. Oh my word. Fin whales, the second largest animal on the planet. Turns out today was a good day. Young Anna Marshall summed our cruise up simply, it was. Awesome. You were incredibly lucky. We saw like more than 10, 10 different kinds of species of animals and birds and the weather was great. It didn't pour rain on us. James, you got so lucky. The thing is, you could too. I think what happens with a lot of Alaska residents is they just tend to forget about it to, you know, to go and, and they need just a little inspiration from people like us to get, a, get them out there. We hope this helps. Thanks for coming with us. Hope you enjoyed the trip.